G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you well. Today's video is looking at creating your own presets within Adobe Lightroom. Presets have become a fairly popular thing in recent years and they're a wonderful way to apply a similar look or a similar edit to multiple images really quickly. And obviously you can do this by simply copying and pasting uh, your edit settings to multiple images. But if, say for example, you have a particular type of colour grade that you've applied or as a signature look for your style of image making, then it's a great way to be able to apply that look to multiple images. The best part of about using presets is that they're still editable so you can still make changes and adjust how much that preset is affecting the image uh, as well as the overall look of the image so while they're a very quick and efficient way to apply that look to your image you're not locked into uh, that particular look because obviously any edit that you apply to an image will affect different images differently so always good to still retain that level of control where you can ad make adjustments moving forward. All right, so we are in, as you can see, a Adobe Lightroom. We're going to have a look at this image, which I was quite surprised to realize when I looked at the details, I'd actually photographed 12 years ago when I was working in Nepal. And I've been fortunate to work in Nepal uh, many times, and this is certainly a favorite spot that I like to visit on every trip. All right, if we go over to our edit area, we're just going to apply some very quick edits. I'm certainly not going to go in depth into the edit because I simply just want to use the look or the edits that I've applied to this image as a bit of a sample for uh, creating that preset as I mentioned earlier. So we're just going to apply some general edits, nothing too major as I mentioned, uh, but just enough to give it a bit of something that is not, I guess, uh, the image straight out of camera. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, as many of you would probably know, Lightroom does come with its own presets, but uh, today's video is about creating your own. So if we just pop up and have a look at view, and we want to view the presets tab. Now there is a shortcut, which I'm always a big fan of shortcuts, and that's Shift P. And when we hit that, you can see that it comes up with options for presets. Now, if we click on premium, you can see that uh, there's a whole bunch of options there uh, that already exist. Uh, but as I've mentioned a couple of times, today's video is about creating your own. So you can see there's a bunch of premium presets there, which is fantastic. It's always good to have a look at other presets just to get you started. But what we're going to have a look at is over on the Yours tab, we've got that edit that we've made to that image. We're going to click on these three little dots here that are just to the right of the Presets tab or the, the title of the tab, and we're going to hit Create Preset. All right, now you can see that we have a few options here. We can name the preset, which is a really good thing. So because this image was photographed in Kathmandu, Nepal, I'm going to call this Kathmandu V1. And the reason I've called it V1 is obviously we can make multiple presets, and I'm just going to call this version 1. And uh, it doesn't really matter what uh, text you use to identify it, but Obviously, you can create different presets, give them different names, and that way you can identify which preset does what. And you can certainly uh, create different looks based on the look that you're trying to achieve. Now, if we have a look down below, you can see that it has pre-selected the options that I edited within the image. So I changed the color, changed the dynamic range, changed the light color effects, detail, and optics. So we're going to save that one. And you can see it immediately appears under user presets, Kathmandu V1. So that's basically the process for creating your own presets. It's super quick and easy, which is really nice. And uh, as I mentioned, because you can name your presets differently, you can create different looks, different presets, and different options when it comes to editing your images. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open another image that was also shot in Kathmandu. Now this image doesn't have any edits applied to it, but we are going to apply that preset that we've just created. So you can see how that process works. All right, let's pop up to view again and we want to see presets. Once again, the uh, shortcut for that is Shift P. And you can see under our user presets, which is under yours, over on the right hand side there is Kathmandu 1. We're going to click that. 
Now, when you click it, you can see that you have an option for the amount that you want to apply. Now, if we default to the 100%, uh, which we're going to call it 100%, not sure if it is, uh, but the starting point for how that preset interacts, you can see that it, it's interacting with that image very differently to this one. And that's because the image was shot differently, different lighting, different settings, a whole different scenario. So we can either drop the amount or adjust the amount that that preset is preset, sorry, is affecting it. And you can see as we do that, the actual settings that we've applied to the image are adjusting all of them on the right hand side under our edits tab. All right, so that means that you can actually see those edits changing depending on how much we are adjusting that amount for the preset to affect the actual image. You can of course also go into uh, the edit tab and the edit section of Lightroom and make those continued adjustments depending on how you want to further refine the edit for your images. So this gives you an amazing amount of flexibility and you can see that even though the preset is developed or designed or intended to give your image an immediate look based on an edit that you have done on another image, it still allows you to refine that edit. So it's not just a single look that's going to be applied as a blanket uh, process across all images. You still retain that full non-destructive workflow to your raw images, which is always a good thing. The experiment for today is for you to go away and have a play at creating your own presets within Lightroom. Uh, as I said, they're non-destructive. You can make further adjustments and reduce the amount that the preset affects other images, but it's a great way to be able to apply a look to your images uh, that is distinctive for you, for the project, for the client, uh, or for the outcome simply that you're trying to achieve. Great way to go and definitely worth considering. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope this uh, video has been helpful. As always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.